Hi, this is Pioneer Field Agronomist Marty Lovern here in central Minnesota. And you know, the last half of our growing season has been absolutely ideal, unfortunately, for the infection of the soybean plant by the white mold fungi. This organism likes to infect the soybean plant by way of the senescing flowers. And it does that during periods of cool and almost continuously wet weather, exactly the conditions we've had uh, this year. So going forward, what are, the, uh, what are the management strategies that we can deploy to minimize the risk of infection in our fields? Going to wider rows increases circulation of air up and down the, the row, uh, creating a less uh, favorable environment for infection. So 30 inch rows instead of 22s or 15 inch rows. Population for many of the same reasons, increasing air movement within the canopy uh, so reducing the population from maybe 140, 160,000 uh, and using variable rate seeding so that on your most susceptible areas you're getting populations maybe as low as 80,000 plants per acre. A little unconventional but that's a look it looks like it's working well for growers who have done it. Now make sure you that you use uh, seed treatment so that you're dropping 80,000 and ensuring that you get maybe 75, 70,000, something like that. Uh, on the hillsides and hilltops, probably 110, 120,000. Variety selection is critical, but there is no resistance within the industry. And so looking for differences in tolerance between varieties. You want to find a variety that has all of the other traits that you need for your field, plus a high level of field tolerance as well. Fungicide applications have been very powerful as a tool, very fairly consistent in their performance. So using a product like Approach, at the R1 stage, the beginning of flowering, and again at the R3 stage, the beginning of pod set, uh, has been pretty effective in minimizing infection on the soybean plant. Cobra is a herbicide, but it has a label for white mold at the six ounce rate. So using, white, uh, using a cobra at a six ounce rate uh, has the impact of, of turning on uh, plant defenses, immune system within the plant, uh, the plant will produce phytoalexins, which are pretty effective at um, suppressing the infection of fungi uh, on the plant. Now it also, because it's a burner as a herbicide, has the added effect of uh, taking some of, those, uh, some of those leaves off the plant and uh, opening up the canopy as well. Contans is a biological that is actually a fungi uh, applied to the soil and it etches and degrades the uh, sclerotia, long-term overwintering structure of the white mold fungus, and, uh, and does a good job of reducing inoculum within the field. That can be used effectively on the worst areas historically that you might have in the field. Long-term strategy. You want to withhold moisture as much as possible from the R1 stage, beginning of flowering, through about the end of R4 stage, just before the R5 stage when beans begin to fill the beans within the pod. Keep that, uh, you can even let those beans get a little bit uh, wilted in that period. Once you get to the R5 stage, you want to make sure you pour enough water on that field to get good uh, pod fill. Well, if you've got a historically severe infestation within your field of white mold, chronic infestation, then you probably want to look at rotating away from soybeans uh, to corn or wheat for a number of years. That'll reduce the inoculum. And manure management is critical. You know, if you've got manure that goes on these fields during the corn rotation, uh, those are going to be more susceptible to infection by white mold because you end up closing canopy faster because of the uh, nitrogen and the high fertility that's out in that field. So uh, that's certainly a consideration as well. Good luck managing white mold going forward. Uh, we, we're sure to have some additional strategies and tools that come into play in the years going forward, but uh, this is at least a summary of what's available to date. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.